looks like a hundred meter dash. Let's see what happens. See, that's not good. The pressure actually got on the mirror. Wow. Now that surprised me, really. Well, this is the turning point now. It's not going to give me another shot. My tears are so coming out right now. Yeah. The special reason is because for the first five stages, I didn't win at all. And I thought it was going to be easy. And then the pressure was getting on to me. And then on this stage, when I won it, that is the reason why it felt so relief. And also the reason is my son is there to, to watch me play. So that's a very special moment. My opponent, Benjamin, he is a top-notch player from USA. And uh, I know how good he is. So playing him in the final, I know I could be very careful. Well, this is for the cop anyway, you know, and I think it's, this is where I always believe that on the whole one game on the start, you want to win the cop first. Final match. This is when, when I saw that he missed the first start, I said, this is my chance. So, uh, all I tell myself right now is that I have to kind of uh, keep my composure, hit the ball right to the end of it, and keep the pressure on, that's all. See, the first three dots was a relief to me, because it's always hard, the first three dots in any tournament. So I did my hat trick, you know, now it's, you know, it's a matter of uh, putting the pressure on the top. And I know he's not going to miss. You know, between two good players, so it's all about pressure. It's about, you know, putting, uh, uh, focusing, and just let the hand go and flow and, you know, and just hit the target. And then the, the rest is really, you know, it's up to the opponent whether they fall down or not. It's just like a 100 meter dash anyway, you know. When you 100 meter dash is, 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 is you just go off fast and you finish fast. And that's what it is. Yeah, this is how I expect that this one will have to hit that way. And give him, give, give him a shot. But I have to put pressure on him. Yeah. See, this three dots for Benjamin right now is very important because he has to leave himself a finish. If he miss one dot, that means I'm going to have six dots for sure. You know, standing in the back, looking at him right now, thinking, right, he said, in my heart, I said, oh, miss, miss one dot. But obviously, he did. He had three good dots. So as for myself, it's the same thing too. Leaving 101 is more important than leaving, a, you know, whatever, more than 101 if I miss a goal. But the hat trick would be the best thing that I can do. This, this definitely put a lot of pressure on him. But 142 is a, I would probably say it's a 60% shot for a great player, you know. So, we'll see what happens. Yep, that's a goal. Now this is where I kind of didn't understand too when he stopped and actually to a pause and stop the flow. I, you know, I always kind of feel that the flow was there which is the ball should just carry on. So here's my chance right now. So 
Oh, that's an 80 percent shot, 101. That's your 90 anyway. <laughs> That was a big relief for me, actually. So, you know, winning the first leg against the Ducks is very important. It kind of gives me a lot more confidence. Excited and nervous. It always is, anyway, you know what I'm saying. But, but being nervous doesn't mean I'm scared. Nervous is just about a part of the deal with any sportsman, you know. Definitely my condition has always been uh, on par. Basically, I, I'm very confident of what I can actually do. Uh, but being in the final is uh, a step ahead of proving myself that I can actually do it. So this is very important for me. I think he's trying to talk to me there. That's right. He's trying to get himself settled down. But anyway, you know, it's okay. I know him very well. So. I think uh, every dark player out there, you know, you'll find, you want to find a soft zone, a safety zone for yourself. Oh, that was a great start for him. He knows he needs to do uh, dominate the 20. You know, the uh, start of the seven mark is, uh, is a big start. Well, obviously for myself, right? You know, I know I, I need to kind of uh, return with a, a decent uh, mark score in order to stay. Seven marks is good to now, try to make him keep away from my 19s. The you know, strategy of cricket, it really varies, you know. Uh, some people like to play a close game and some people like to play an attacking game with score. And I know Benjamin plays a good game. Benjamin is he's ahead, but he still keep ahead on score. Trying to put more pressure on me. Uh, this is a part of his strategy anyway. Uh, yeah, this way. He said, once he has enough points ahead, he will take a shot on the first time. And that's a huge, that's a huge white house. Pressure is really important. Uh, there's no way I could do anything but with the bullseye. Now. You know, sometimes when it comes to a position like this, it's uh, you know, you know that you are really way behind. Uh, you can only think about settling down and prepare for the next game because I'm still not behind in terms of legs. Even I lose this leg right now, I'm a one and one. So you must always look ahead and be positive. Even though I go ahead with five balls, I still know that it's going to be difficult for me anyway. It's like all you need is basically a, a, a score and and uh, uh, a triple twenty or, or whatever he does, or two single twenty, and then a bullseye, and then it's over. You know? Yeah, I see. He didn't even. Want, he wouldn't want to give me a shot. So the last start, he, he was behind on the points. And he didn't want to close my goal because he didn't want me to have uh, a chance on a nine mark to, to win the game. So this is again like a smart play on his part. I think cricket is about really the, the, the not giving your opponent a chance to actually close you up and win the game in three darts. So this is something I think for dart players is very important in cricket. It's always calculate the numbers and not let your opponent have a, have a clear shot to actually win the game. That was over. Actually winning, 
the first leg as a, it's a big advantage, right? Now, losing the second leg, in my mind, I still feel that I'm pretty safe in that way because I know on my third leg, I'm going first. So, I don't feel kind of uh, too bad about it and not putting myself down. Well, this is the turning point. Uh, the five leg set is the third one, one, one. This third leg is going to determine by being ahead it's going to give me the advantage. So it is a big turning point. And I know it's all one game. I need to start well. <laughs> big advantage going first on the O1 anyway. But again, like I said again, uh, you just got to keep focusing and not let up. Because the opponent, I mean, can do the same too, you know. Hitting hat trick and just chase you down. It's a lot of pressure on O1. A big difference of cricket. You know, O1, you know, if you miss the ball, you got nothing, you know. Whereas cricket, if you miss the triple, you might still get one mark. You see, like, again, this is where. And I thought, I told myself right in the back of my mind, I said, don't miss all three darts, you know. You see, right now, even though I miss two balls, I can only hope that he miss one or two also, you know. But I still have the chance of finishing first if I keep keep hitting my scores right. See, he knows that. Benny knows that when he missed the third dart, he's giving me a, 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 a doorway to go through now, you know. It's open up for me now. And I knew that too. Oh. Oh. Me now. That was, that was rough. Now I can only hope he missed. He knows that. He knows it's very important for me, not to lose. For me too, it's the same thing. Because 380 right now, I need 9 darts anyway, 2 rounds. Where else he can finish in 2 rounds? And this is where a hat trick would be perfect for him, leaving 140. So, you know, standing at the back there, I'm thinking, I said, come on, miss one, miss one, you know. Uh, he did. Now he missed on a number where he can, he can still set up. I think this is where I think O1 game, it's not about strategy, it's about calculation. So he knows he, a bull will leave him 184. So he needs to either go for triple 20 or triple 19 or even triple 18. They will leave him an out shot. I think he's going to go triple 20 anyway. Yeah, that's right. This is a good shot. Uh, you know, I mean, he have a shot there, but I know, you know, my own part is that I need to give myself a good number too, so to put pressure on him. That would be just fine. This is where I said, leave it to uh, fate, you know, what's going to happen. He needs three perfect triple. He knows his first dart is very important. If he missed the first dart, yep. So now he kind of, he just throw and I go through the motion. Well, in the out. And I tell myself, I say, I have to hit this, you know. Big advantage, leading to one. Oh, good thing it was a 19 though. One goal. Yeah, I was lucky that miss was a 19. If I would miss with a 3, you know, then it will be 87. Others, 7, 77, a bit different, yeah. Wow, when I miss my first in fact, not my first two that. When I missed my first that hitting a four, my heart was really was saying. You see, that's when I, 
a little panic, you know, and I missed my second dart. And I said, I can't afford to miss my third dart. So I, I hit my third dart. And all I said is that you have to hang in there and hit big scores. And hopefully that he missed too anyway. You know. That's how I felt. Well, this is what I almost tell myself that this is the home run now. You know, if I win this leg, it's over, you know. So I'm going to put all my effort into this leg uh, and make it as short as possible. You know? But again, Benny is starting first on a cricket game. Yep, five mark. It's still a good start. Surprise! He went for the 19. Like that. He, I mean, he was ahead by seven, 60 or 63 points. But I, I think he felt he can actually feel that my 19 is kind of a strong, so that's why he took a chance on it. Uh, you know, I went for the game shot. It's almost like I think it's a game shot. I went a bit high. On it. Yeah, this is a close game now anyway. See what's gonna happen. Yep. Yeah, I see. He didn't he didn't go for my 18 on the third dart. I think it's because he it's not the same as 19. I think he he feels more uncomfortable with me having to shoot at the 19 and rather the 18. 18 is a it's a very strange number. You know, it's like dangling in mid-air, you know. Get in there! <laughs> the reason I went for the double 20 was that because my triple 18 is completely blocked by my, by my dart anyway. So I thought I'd just take a shot and close his 20 and, and just hope that he have a bad turn. Yeah, there was a big last dart on him on the triple seventeen. Because if you, if you would have missed that, then you uh, totally turn things around. Now I gotta go 18s down, no choice. Yeah. Uh, see, I took a gamble on that shot. You know? uh, I just, I just feel that I'm a hit to one right now. I can afford to take uh, chances, you know. Yeah, he's third dart. He's third dart is triple every time, which is very big. If he, if he goes single, 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 yeah, the game will be over. But uh, this is where I need to, again, it's my 18 again. Yep. It's gonna shoot me up now on the 18 for sure. Yep. Now I'm behind side. You see, I, I need a 9 mark here, I know that. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a pressure shot anyway. Because you know you need to hit the triple in the first dart, no matter what happens. Uh, let's. I was thinking about closing his 16 actually, but then I thought I'm going to just go score. Uh, unfortunately, it was a single. <laughs> well, the door is wide open for him now. 
He's going to score, close by 15, and score again, I think. Oh. Wow. Now that surprised me, really. He was really ahead by 100 points. Almost 100 points, I think. This is giving it to me. Because right now, I need a 9, by, nine mark again. Triple 15, triple 15, triple 16. Pretty sure now he's going to take a chance on my 15. It's not going to give me another shot. Yeah. And it was a blocker on the 16 too, anyway. So, yeah, great shot. Now it's only. Five. But at this point, I still don't kind of give up anyway. Because, uh, Possibility of hitting three black, you know, three black bull or two black bull. Ah. Yeah, but you need a black. Single is not enough. No. Yeah. yeah I, took, I took the chance. In fact, that was kind of a. Uh, looking at it now, I, I don't know. I think it's a low percentage shot for myself because now I, I need five bulls. Instead of four bulls, I need five anyway. Four bulls is not enough. I'll be losing by one point. So he, all he need is a hat trick. Yeah. Yeah. Try to put the pressure on him. So he go with as expected, you know. I mean, going first, him going first anyway. Uh, actually. I do feel that expected, really. I mean, uh, um, I, I make a couple of bad error shots, but in my mind is that the game is not lost yet. So there's the fifth leg right now. So it's a one leg, one leg championship game anyway. You know. So again, back to winning the cup is very important. But the only difference right now is a choice anyway. So we'll see what happens. Don't, don't lose the cop, don't lose the cop. Uh, maybe I put a lot of pressure on myself. You know, uh, I mean, we, we hit so many hat tricks, uh, you know, and it look, I mean, the thing is that he was out of the pool on, on, that, on that shot. And I keep telling myself, oh, it's an easy pull down, you know. But it's a blocker for me, that's the thing. It's right in the middle. And I pulled it. what to say. You know, you look at my expression, you know exactly how I felt. Uh, but still, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I did tell myself, I said, I lost a cop on the first leg, but I won. So it can happen again. But it's, the point is never give up. One leg cricket, I think it's a lot easier for me than a one leg or one. So we'll see. Because he's gonna go first, yeah. definitely. So I have to. It, even though I won both the O1 game, I am not going to go O1 chasing him because it's a, it's, it's no O1 is a, like a hundred meter dash, I say. You know? So I don't want to be chasing him all the time. And all I want to tell myself is that I want to be able to play offense and defense, which is a cricket game. So I can actually force him to do different things. Well, so one, I can't force him to do anything at all, you know. So I chose cricket, even though I lost two cricket to him, you know. Five one start. I know I need a big shot no matter what happens anyway. I cannot afford to let him have an easy shot on my 19. You know, keep him away from my ID. Oh, 
also for myself is that I want to keep the 20 away from him also. Because his 20 is quite deadly, you know. You see, even after the second dart, when he hit the triple 20, he didn't want to go for my 19. Because he wants, he, I know Benjamin just want to power score on his opponent until we give up, you know. But again, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good uh, scorer too, so... Uh, I took a chance. <laughs> you see, in my mind right now, right, I took away his 20, it's like taking away his toy, you know. If he takes away my 19, it's like taking away my toy too, so... Uh, I felt more confident. I see now he's trying to go for my 19 now. He knows, he knows that. The 19 dominates the 18. And that is, you know, the key number right now for me. Because every time I hit a 19, he has to hit 218. If I hit 319, he's gonna hit 418. So big advantage for me right now. Yeah. Uh, but that was unfortunate though. Triple seven, triple seven. I know that is, again, let's open the door for him again he knows he knows he needs a shot now wow i'm surprised he didn't go to my 19 at the time You see, 304, 304. Uh, if I take a chance on his 18, if I don't hit a triple, I'm actually in trouble. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to score the 19 again. Like I said, 119, he needs 218, you know. If I hit a triple 19 now, he would need 418s. So I chose to go 19s. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big shot. Now he needs uh, actually at least a four mark on the 18 before he can go for my 19. But knowing him, I don't think he's going to take a shot at my 19 anyway. He likes to go way, way ahead. See? Uh, this is my big chance now. Again, this is a triple 19. See, sometimes in cricket, taking chances, uh, you've got to evaluate the chances whether it's worth taking or not. Uh, it really depends on the numbers that you are in control of. See that right now, you see, he, he just want to be in control of the score and keep me away from his scoring number, you know. So right now, like for myself, I actually need a six mark before I can go for his 18 anyway. Yeah. For me, that's, that is huge because I know I put a lot of pressure on him. Taking chances, I could have gone for the 18 on the last time and close him. Uh, but but then again, the game is still closed. And anything can happen from the 17 to 16 and the 15 because the, the game is still wide open. Now, all I know to myself is that if I hit my first down on the triple, I'm going to take a shot at the 18 now. Because 57, we have a, we have a lead on him. Uh, I try for the double 18 anyway. Got to close him up. Yeah. 
You know, in the English term, right, when it comes to playing cricket, we have always say that we want to make our opponent run out of real estate. That means the last number they have right now to play with, uh, you'll be advantage for the one that's ahead anyway, you know. So to me right now, right, that was my biggest uh, door open for me right now. He only hit two seventeens. If I tell myself, I said, if I can cut 17, cut him short, 16, that means he's going to be running out of real estate now. Triple 15, yeah, that's the one. So he has got no more number to play now except the game. So you can see from his body language, he's already given up because he knows it's over already. Because I have four numbers, you know, so it's it's it's, it's tough. To me, it's just a hat trick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, that's it. My first world stage champion. Only time I ever cried in the, in the world when I won because it's the first one. It meant so much. You know. uh, my, my, my son, Michael. Uh, Feel it though, I tell you what. Yeah, even right now, I'm looking at it right now. My tears are so coming out right now. So, the turning point basically is the first, the start of a turning point, and then the third leg, and then, of course, in the fifth leg is when he missed the 17. That's the, when he hit 217. That just gave me the big turn around to win that leg right out and I want to play cricket because the strategy of cricket the offense and the defense will actually play, plays a big part and I always believe I'm a good cricket player uh, so I felt that I chose cricket and I just want to kind of a play a strategy game and hopefully I have a good turn, a, a, a door open for me and I will uh, dominate it. And I did anyway. No, actually in fact, uh, during that, that world started off in the 2011, uh, I have always been believed that I am still have so much more to improve and play better dance. I, right now, I honestly felt that I'm playing better darts now than I'm, I'm playing in 2011. Uh, I, f I, I feel that way anyway. Um, but I know it's never easy because the, the, the caliber of players, uh, especially at then, uh, were the, more of the old timer. There was no younger generation. But looking at it now, the younger generation has come up so much that it really becomes harder each year. But still, I believe that I'm capable of uh, winning tournaments and being a champion. Because if I don't, I probably would uh, retire right now. <laughs>